hi everybody this is Janelle um I've been gone for a while well I've been kind of sick but anyway <laughs> I'm better now um I just want to show you guys a quick mini album that I made for a friend she's gonna have a little girl um this is the cover I uh I have a picture of her ultrasound that she had sent to me she doesn't know I made this for her so it's gonna be a surprise but she sent it to me and I don't know how to print it because it only goes to WordPad. I think she has a Mac, so that could be the problem. I just have PC. So I have to figure out how to see the picture and I don't know. I'm not a computer person at all. Anyway, that was supposed to go here. So this is not attached yet, so I'm just gonna move it. But it's, it goes like that. This is a dollar frame I got at Michael's. I'm trying to go pretty quickly. It takes forever to load videos. <laughs> This is a charm I made, some beads, this little bottle and a block. And I just put all these ribbons. This is the three ring binder album Laura with following the paper trail made. And um, it's really easy. I really like this album. You can make it bigger, but I did it the side that she had on there. Um, these are some Prima flowers. I, I used these and I just made them into um, Mini roses using the hot glue gun. This is a butterfly I used glossy accents on. This says sunshine. I made my own glimmer mist. Oh, it comes out so nice. I forget the tutorial that I used, but it's just using um, like this this paint, a little bit of Mod Podge, and water, and it comes out really nice. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's you know, a little glimmery and rhinestones and some flowers. These I got from Michaels, okay, let me hurry. So I just bound it with the grommet and ribbon. And then you open it and here it says, um, I am here to live out loud. And this is cut with the Cricut and I embossed the edges. Um, this one, I uh, made some more flowers, place for a picture. Then this side, I um, says Daddy's little girl. Looks kind of blurry. I don't know if you can see it. I need more light. When I have more light, then it's kind of dark outside today, <laughs> which is weird for here. But anyway, these are al um, envelopes. I kind of made it look like a paper bag mini. I'll post the um, the idea I got this from. It was Chicken Scratch. Um, she does Stampin' Up! tutorials and stuff, and she did this with an album to make a bag. A, like little gift bag but I said you can make a mini album or kind of like a um, paper bag mini out of it but <laughs> I just stuck it in here and then these are just um, tags in there and then each has like a little frame on the front and this size says because I'm the princess and these are just um, little tags in here I'll take them out real quick it's just places for some pictures. It's lovable, you're sweet, and then just a tree. It just goes under the little, this is one of those little clips. My friend had made some of these. She gave me this idea. And it's just like some clips I got from Michaels. And then this is a little flower that I made a while ago. Had laying around some tags stuck in there. Or whatever oh and I just stamp dream and shine real simple she's not a scrapbooker but she's pretty creative so I'm sure she'll <laughs> find ways to fill it up um, and this is just a little swivel tag thing and just goes in there in the little fence oopsie Oop. and this side um, says princess this was intended for something else that I was making but <laughs> I stuck it in here. It was this is cut with chipboard circle Sizzix die. And then this side's just got the little castle. And then this one says all dolled up. That's from the cricket. And then I have this little blank three tags in here for pictures. Then this side says uh, Jesus loves you. And then these are two little things for pictures and whatever else hope I'm not too close and these are just some tags I had I misted them with that mist I made and I really like it it's way cheaper than glimmer mist 
And then I just hung it on this little, I don't know if you can see that, a little paper clip. And then just three tags. And this one says, hello princess, with the little cut from the Cricut. And that's a stamp I cut out. And I misted that one too. It's really bright. And now the sun wants to, well not really, the sun's not shining. <laughs> Love never fails, a door, two pictures can go there. And then this side is just a picture here. And then it says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. And then just a little tag in there. Then the tree I used UT on to make it shiny. And just brown ink and then green ink with UT. And then this little thing pulls out from behind here. And it just says, I love you. And then the tabs I cut with the Tim Holtz uh, the, on the edge die. So I just made it look like that and then pictures can go in there. So I hope there's a lot of room for pictures in here for her. So, and that's it. That's the end. Um, if you haven't tried this album, it's really cute. <laughs> it comes out fun. I mean, I always thought of how to, you know, would think of ways to do it like this, but I never just sat down and tried to figure it out. But um, Laura, the following paper trail, she's really creative, so she did it for me. <laughs> and that's all, guys. Oh, and I want to do a room tour when I get my room 100% done. Right now, it's just half done. And I um, can't wait till it's done, because before, before my baby comes, I hope it's all I can get it all finished. Because when baby comes, yeah, I will not be trying to paint nothing. Just one wall I need to paint still. Um, so mostly everything's pretty much done, but now I, I, I've already decided that I want to rearrange stuff. <laughs> Just this middle desk that I'm sitting at, I already want to move that. So yeah, that's all guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.